Lewis Steer, aged 15 from Kinross, has been a volunteer at the Vane Farm Nature Reserve for almost two and a half years. Starting at the age of 13, Lewis has amazed visitors of all ages with his natural history knowledge. He has impressed visitors and volunteers alike with his confidence and enthusiasm for nature. Lewis is currently training to be a bird ringer and is involved in a number of ways at the nature reserve, including being a hide guide. He is an inspiration and an example of the way young people are giving back to their community and environment. I've been a volunteer for Vane Farm for around three years. I'm an information volunteer which involves talking to the people that come up to the reserve, telling them about what's out there and educating them and hopefully making them interested in wildlife themselves. But I also help out around the reserve doing things like checking nest boxes, uh, litter picking and bumblebee and butterfly surveys. Well, positive impacts um, Lewis has had uh, is just amazing. So Lewis being so young, I think, is probably the first thing. He started here when he was only 12 or 13 years old. And as I say, people were pretty amazed by this young guy's knowledge. So his knowledge is, is very, very impressive. And also his people engagement skills. He is amazing with people. I mean, he actually looks at least 18 or 19 now. Um, he is actually only 15. But he is such a mature and, and just such a nice, friendly and welcoming young man. Um, so people engagement is, is his thing. He'll, he'll talk to anyone. He gets on with, with everybody. And so that is kind of the kind of thing that we really need here is somebody who can welcome people in and tell them a story. Um, which is just what Lewis can do. I think that's probably the most positive thing he's done. Um, and as a young person, I think he's, he's a great ambassador for young people and how amazing young people can be. I think the work that we do at Vane Farm by educating people, and particularly young people, uh, helps to, to keep the RSPB as a, a modern and up-to-date charity uh, that involves people of all ages. Yes, it's good to have older people in the charity and helping to support us, but by educating young people at Vane Farm through the work that we do with schools and young people that just visit, I think it's hugely important because without people like that, it's going to be impossible in the future to continue managing um, reserves like this. Uh, without young people caring for the environment, we're not going to be able to progress um, in times when there's not much money and uh, climate change is becoming more of a thing for birds and other wildlife or where they're occurring and where they're going to go. It's going to be something in the future that we're going to have to watch out about. And I don't want people to forget about wildlife when we're thinking about other things. This is something that's important to me and a lot of other people. And though money is scarce uh, and it's not as easy to do things for charity, I think everybody has to take a small part of their life to do something greater for everybody else. I would hate to think that people in the future wouldn't be able to come to a place like uh, RSPB Local even and experience the sights and the sounds that we have here. Uh, I think that would be a great shame for anybody in the near future. Biggest achievements for Lewis? Well, um, I think cracking um, the the audience thing, you know, actually being able to speak. It's not always easy to speak to people that come here. You know, some people don't want to speak to folk when they come in here. They just want to go and get their bird food or they want to go and get um, a cup of tea or they want to go and do their own bird watching. But Lewis has been able to just, he has been able to be just such a nice, warm, um, friendly guide in the hide, so to speak, that people will, you know, they, they will engage with him and they'll, you know, he, 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 he can sit in the background if he needs to, you know, he's not pushy, so if he recognises when people want to do their own thing. Uh, but equally, he recognises when people don't know what's going on and that he can give them um, more information and really get them quite enthused. That's the thing he does. He enthuses people, um, I think, about things that they, they never expected to see. So he can do that because he's partly because he's so young, partly because he's so knowledgeable and partly because of these amazing interpersonal skills that he's got. Um, so he he's done, I think he's done masses for himself. I don't know how much he realises what he's done for his own, 
you know, for his own sort of self-development and his career development. But for us, he's done masses. He's done masses to bond the team together. He's done masses for our, our visitors here. And he's done masses for um, uh, that sort of ambassadorial role um, for, for young people and how amazing they can be. Well, I think just by volunteering out there, there's so many positive young people. Yes, we may get some bad press, but I think by volunteering up here and giving my, my time to help others and talk to others shows people that we're not all like that. Uh, I like talking to people, I like uh, telling people about what's here, and I think that it keeps... If more people got involved, it would keep them away from doing the, some of the, the terrible things that teenagers get told out to be, they get stereotyped to be. Uh, but I think people forget that we're not all like this.